That look good? Look good? All right, cut. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video, we got a little something different. Yeah, that's right guys, a 22 Busa. I know you're like, oh, our favorite 22 Busa again. Nope, this one's a little different, boys. It's got an exhaust system on it that you may have never seen or may have never expected on a Hayabusa. It's an eBay special. This exhaust is the littlest, bittiest exhaust you've ever seen. Super small, and it, is it gonna be enough for this 1340cc powerhouse engine that Suzuki's got? We're gonna find out how does this eBay exhaust stack up to something that is three, four times as expensive. Is it worth the money for a good exhaust or not? Stay with us guys, here we go. got this 22 Busa all loaded up on the dyno. We went over and just installed a Sprint P08 air filter. We also installed a set of Carbon Smith Velocity stacks. But take a look at this exhaust system, GR Moto. I looked these up on eBay. They're about $830 for the set of them, meaning there's two. What I'm concerned with is how small the exit is for this exhaust. Now, is this exhaust gonna perform better than the factory exhaust? I don't know, we're about to find out in a minute. Does it sound better? Yes, it definitely does sound better. And the customer has actually purchased this exhaust as a, I guess you would say, to hold him over until he gets all his other modifications that he wants. The customer's wanting to do a big tire kit on the bike and stretch it. Once he does that, of course, you have to have a little short exhaust. But he didn't like the way the bikes look with the little short exhaust in the stock swing arm. So once he gets all his stuff, he's gonna be changing everything over, bringing it back, and we're gonna tune it again. So right now, he's saying that the bike has got a lag slash delay in it after he's installed this exhaust system. He just doesn't like the way it performs. And just to hold him over until he's ready to get the other stuff, we're going to do a tune on this thing, remove all the restrictions, and get the most out of it. But let's fire this thing up and see how this exhaust sounds. <laughs> bike is struggling to push air. In other words, I can hear it like forcing air out the exhaust. So I had a uh, speculation, <laughs> I go, what was the word I was looking for, that the exhaust was too small. That kind of proves the point. Let's see how it does on the dyno. Here we go. The Busa is in place, warmed up and ready to go. Let's see what kind of power this makes as a baseline with the modifications he has done. Then we're gonna go in, remove all the restrictions from the ECU, tune in the air fuel ratio to smooth this thing out and get some more power out of it.
these exhausts did uh, increase the float cruising around, so not super bad, I guess. I mean, I see why the guy was complaining, because it was super lean. And I was reading the advertisement for these things. It says right on it, no tuning required. Well, it's not gonna tear your bike up, but tuning is required. surprised I cannot believe how well this thing did when the video started and I ain't gonna lie I was a little bit down in the GR moto exhaust I was I was surprised I was like man I can't see these things doing any good at all they they're probably gonna do worse than stock however present pleasantly pleasantly that's not a word I would normally use but I'm really surprised, 178 horsepower, guys, and 109 foot-pounds of torque, wow. We got pretty big gains out of the Flash. The thing was fairly lean, even though they say, or advertise that it doesn't require tuning. I wouldn't say that it would tear your bike up if you rode it without tuning, but you definitely notice hesitation. I mean, that's why the customer complained and come to get it tuned to start with, is because he didn't like the way it felt. Another thing, while we're here, let's just have some fun. Let's compare the graphs. Let's go ahead and delete the graph that we started with. 
and let's look at the graph that we got now. You see we got a really nice plateau of power here. It flattens out and really holds the power pretty good. On these boosts, stacks or no stacks, whatever you got, you don't want to rev them crazy high. The horsepower, it falls off, but the torque nose dives crazy bad on them, okay? So do not rev these things 11.5, whatever. In my flash, we extend the rev limiter on out to 11.5. That doesn't mean you're supposed to rev it that far. If you were to build a motor or do anything in the future, now you don't have to send the ECU back to get the rev limiter increase. It's already done for you, okay? But this thing will do its best shifting up here at about 10.2, 10.5, okay? Well, with this exhaust anyway. Now, just for fun, we're gonna put on, I did a 2023 Hayabusa and we installed the Brox Performance Exhaust, the air filter, all the good stuff the other day, okay? Uh, if you missed that video, go back and check it out. I've got a ton of other videos on the 22 Busa, 23 Busa, showing you all the restrictions, all the stuff that's inside the ECU, what we change. I did not get into that in today's video. This is just kind of a fun video reviewing this exhaust system, showing you how it sounds, how it performs. Anyways, long story short, we got this 23 Busa dyno graph that we're overlaying. This had a Brox Performance pentacarbon exhaust, or yeah, pentacarbon. Anyways, 183 horsepower and 110 foot-pounds of torque. But you see throughout the power curve, the little eBay exhaust actually beat it at four and 5,000 RPMs. And it also beat it there. No, I take it back. It beat it at four to 5,000 RPMs only. But other than that, it's holding a pretty tight line. What do you think? Is this exhaust worth the money? It doesn't perform too bad. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's content. Smash that like button. Go ahead and click the subscribe. Click the bell for notifications so you join the party. We hit 100,000. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, we took us three years to get it. We got it. I appreciate all the support. Check us out at moremafia.com. We can flash the ECU for your 22 Busa or any other bike that you may have. ECU, super easy to find on these new boosters. Just pop the seat off, it literally right there. It takes you no more than two minutes to remove it and to put it back in. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit us up if you got any questions. See you next time.